Hey everyone, welcome back to the Miss Pandaria beta. There was a new patch, and I'm going to try and cover some of the UI changes before I crash again, because just about doing anything right now will crash you. Um, first off, before I go over any UI changes, there's been a couple of changes around the Jade Forest area. Like, I'm pretty sure Fort Grukin looks a little different, because it does to me. But, um... There was a quest that I flew over that I have taken this flight path a couple times before, and it wasn't there before. There was a couple of different landscape changes and stuff, so there's like tiny little things. Ooh, what's this? There's tiny little things that weren't there before that are now there. Um, I'm actually going to check something. Ooh, the hidden pass now has its own uh, map. That's nice. Okay. Um, but to go over the UI changes, there's a difference in this, and now you have your general, which is all your... To go over some of the UI changes with the spellbook, it now gives you a nice little overlay that will show you these are your spells, you can drag them down, and these will uh, be put on your taskbar, or action bar, and you can use them. Some of them are racial, uh, racial stuff such as Blood Fury, Auto Attack, Fast Track, Dual Wield, those will all be in there. Get rid of this. These will be your specialization talents that you get for being a special spec, such as Dark Transformation for Unholy. All your talents will also be in here. Um, if you choose Blood, you'll have different talents. If you choose Frost, you'll have different talents. Or spells, sorry. <laughs> With this, you now know, um, see your pet reputation currency. So far, nothing is different with this, but they just changed it and you're crashing every like four seconds, so it, you never know. With the core abilities tab, this will show you the core abilities of your class and what they do and everything. Right now, it's pretty much just showing default war uh, warrior talents abilities, so you can't really do anything about that. I'm obviously, I don't have charge, I'm a death knight, so yeah. With professions, it's also a little bit different. These will be your major professions. Those will be your minor. With um, your talents, there's nothing different so far. Your specialization still looks the same. Your talents still look the same. And your glyphs all still look the same. So there's no change there. Achievements, also no change in the UI there. No change in the quest log. I must note that this area looks a lot different, and I also heard about someone y'all would like to see if I can find. Here he is. Oh, oh, who's that? Who's that? That's Raphion. Yeah, that's that, uh, Black Dragon. Yeah. He's in Miss Pandaria. Yeah. There's a Mounts and Pets tab, which I'm not going to leave open because it crashes me every time I touch it. He was not here before. Looks like they're adding in more NPCs and such. But with that, that'll show you Mounts and Pets. The Dungeon Finder, no difference. So, yep, still can't look at the challenges. You can choose specific dungeons now. Stormstout Brewery is open. And, oh no, this mage. <laughs> he has that stupid, stupid talent uh, glyph of arcane language, which allows you to understand, like, if I was speaking gutter speak and someone wasn't a Forsaken, they'd be, under be able to understand that. Nope. But other than that, that's the UI changes that I could find. If there's any others, I'll do quick low updates. Probably just screenshots on my Tumblr to update you on anything else. Nope. Oh, everyone broke Pandaria. Cressoring Wilds is open right now, so everyone's probably crowding into there and Stormstout Brewery. I'm going to be trying to do a Stormstout Brewery run through and do some of the quests tonight of uh, Cressoring also. But that was the updates for the UI. I'll see you next time.